Hey, good afternoon, guys. Uh, I got a couple rifles I'm going to shoot. Uh, and I'm sort of going to do an ammo uh, comparison. Uh, two are CCIs. One's a high velocity, one's a standard velocity, and one's a Remington target. And the other is federal uh, target grade, is what it says. Uh, and I'm going to shoot them out of two different Savage A-22s. This is uh, the Savage's new semi-automatic rifle. Uh, it, it takes a, a box magazine, a rotary type box magazine. It's not exactly like a Ruger. It does load a lot like a Ruger. Uh, it holds 10 rounds. Um, a little leery of them uh, because they're really easy to bump and pop right out. Uh, they function well. Uh, they're, I think they're a little harder to load than the uh, Ruger, but this is the standard version of the A22. You know, it's thin barrel with uh, sights on it. These sights right here I've adjusted down as low as I can and it still shoots high, so I put a Vortex Venom on it uh, and sighted it in down at 25 yards. Uh, this one has a Vortex Crossfire 2. It's a 4x12 by 44. Uh, I, I'm shooting lower power on it. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to start out with the CCI uh, 36 grain, a uh, high velocity, uh, well, it says 1260 feet per second, 36 grain hollow point varmints. And I'm going to shoot five rounds in each of the target, in, in the target with each one of the uh, ammo. I'm going to see how the uh, standard velocity uh, functions uh, in this rifle. I'm sure it's accurate, but it may not function. Uh, the Remington target, this is a 40 grain bullet. Uh, we're going to shoot those. And these uh, Federals, I think, are 36 grain. Uh, for the, no, they're 40 grain solid tip uh, bullets. So we're going to shoot into that target down there. And we're going to see how the A22 functions. I'm sorry, it's a little shaky here. Uh, I'm going to uh, focus in on the target. We're going to shoot that target right there. And I'm going to start at the top left. Uh, and these are going to be the CCI mini mags. And we're going to see how well it shoots with those. Okay, it looks like the top right of the square. The white square there. I think y'all can see better than I can. Well, it looked like that shot pretty good. Uh, so give me a second, and I'm gonna load up uh, the CCI standard velocity. I'm gonna put five rounds in it if I can get them out of the box here. And we're going to see how they shoot uh, compared to, I guess, their faster brothers. Uh, See, there's three, four, and five. And I'm going to shoot at the target just to the right of the one I just shot at. 
Now these are the standard velocities. It, it's posted at uh, 1,070 feet per second. So they're just 20 feet past subsonic. So uh, I'm not sure if they'll function, but we're going to shoot them. Well, it looks like they shoot very well and they function, the standard velocity functions very well out of this, uh, out of this rifle. Alright, well we'll go straight from the subsonic to the Remington 22 target. And like I said, these are 40 grain bullets. Let me get these loaded up, it takes just a... Like I said, this magazine is not quite as easy to load as a Ruger 1022, but it loads pretty much the same way. Uh, I don't think Savage copied anything from it other than just the concept of the rotary magazine. All right, I have got it loaded. Let me put the magazine in the rifle. And we're gonna go to the top right target now and we're going to see how these Remington's do all right once again these are Remington target 40 grain they're solid points Well, I think they hold up to what they call themselves as target. So those Remington's perform real well right there. Now we're going to go to the Federal Target Grade Performance Ammo. Uh, my son and I, he has a CZ uh, uh, American. I have another Savage Mark II heavy barrel with a little pole Mark IV on it that we shoot ping pong balls and bust clays at 200 meters, believe it or not, we do, uh, using this ammo. Now, I believe when we're shooting this ammo, this uh, federal target grade performance, we're shooting like 19 feet over the target. And the wind can really play havoc on it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna drop down one row and shoot the left target the center left target. These are federal. Uh, it says ideal for semi-autos. So let's see how ideal it is. We got a little bit of a wind here. All right, it's shooting right. That may have been me, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna empty it. We're gonna walk down and take a look at it. Just to show you it was 25 yards. It's, it's a little ways down there. Uh, I am really impressed with this Savage A22. Uh, a semi-automatic rifle uh, in 22. Savage is up their game on their rifles. Okay. CCI mini mags. These right here were the 36 grain. Uh, at 25 yards. Shooting from back there to here, uh, it looks like 
I'm going to guess that little square, that white part of the square is a half inch. That's a half inch right there. Uh, this stretches out maybe five sixteenths of an inch. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, seven sixteenths. Wait, that's not it. About nine sixteenths. I don't know my fractions, guys, but these are the subsonic. You had, look at that, four right there. There's two in that hole right there, four, and then that flyer right there. So it's just a hair over a uh, half inch. Uh, this one right here, uh, this is the Remington target, 40 grain bullets. It's holding dead center, and it looks like a half inch group with those. Now, here are the Federals. The Federals stretched out a little bit right there, but that's still less than three quarters of an inch. It shot a little bit high and a little bit right of center. Uh, but the CCI just performs really well. Mini mags, standard velocity, that's 1,070 feet per second. And this right here is the Remington Green Box uh, Target Ammo, 40 grain bullets. And the Federal 40 grain, that's those target grade right there. It shoots well. Uh, if you want the most accurate ammo, it looks like it loves CCIs. These are 40 grain subsonic. I mean, uh, not subsonic, but standard velocity. Uh, you noticed, I, maybe you noticed a difference in the sound between this shot right here and this, this group right here. Uh, I could tell there was a difference uh, that this was much lower. So I'm thinking these right here, even out of that 20 inch barrel, 21 inch barrel, it was still a little subsonic, but uh, these were about the same snap. Half inch groups, guys. Uh, if you want an accurate semi-automatic, just straight out of the box, nothing done to it other than just putting a scope on it. Uh, I really highly suggest y'all checking out the, uh, the Savage A22. Uh, the one I'm shooting out of, it's a heavy barrel, fluted, nice gray laminated bur uh, laminated stock. You know, you see you see the little logo uh, A22 in it. Uh, I don't have a real expensive scope on it. Uh, it's a uh, very nice. It's a very pleasant rifle to look at. It, it's prettier than the standard version. Anyhow, this is the standard version. And like I said, the sights, the, the standard sights on it are very nice, but they, they just, I can't get the, at 25 yards, I'm still shooting three inches high at, at the lowest setting. So I'm going to shoot this rifle uh, on another video. And so, guys, that's a very nice rifle. And you can catch them at Walmart. Uh, but anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out. Uh, seems like when you find ammo today, it's either going to be the CCI, this, or this. Uh, you're probably going to be hard pressed to find that. And guys, that box right there shot just as good as these CCI mini mags. But I think that box was the same price as those mini mags, and you got 100, I meant 50 more in there. So uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, Y'all have a great day.